Alright guys, so this is the uh, final countdown here. This is whether to see I can stay in China or I have to leave and try to figure something else out. Really wish I didn't put myself in this situation, but let's go uh, check out the embassy. See that American flag? Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Right there. Just wandering around like an idiot, trying to find it. And I was like, you know, it's probably that uh, the big place, the American flag. So it's good news and bad news. The good news is, actually, I ran into a subscriber in there that was really funny. Of all places to run into a subscriber in the American embassy where I'm trying to replace my passport. So. Uh, Subscribers, stay stay tuned to see uh, what actually happened. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get my passport back in two weeks, and that's a day after my visa appointment, so that doesn't actually bode well for me. But it's not the end of the line. I think I can pull something uh, in my city to try to postpone that at least. So I'll try my best. come to the conclusion that like big city cores are all the same around the world because um, they're kind of devoid of any like local culture and stuff and you basically have just a series of buildings everywhere and embassies and everything and uh, yeah, even in China it, you could be mistaken that you're in New York City or LA it's weird that coffee cost me almost the same as my train ticket to go back to Huizhou, which is kind of funny. You can tell you're in a different place. The levels in China are insane. Um, but I suppose it's like that in any big city. But yeah, the wealth gap is, uh, is palpable for sure. I'm gonna grab a taxi and let's get the hell out of here. To Guangzhou Dongzhang, can you? Awesome. I'm going to be waiting here for a while. Oh lord. I have a better part of an hour. Well, I forgot it was the Canton Fair. And there are no trains left. So now I have to find the bus. And they've led me down this scary long tunnel. Anyway, I just met this really nice German guy, which is really cool. And uh, he's here for the Canton Fair. Uh, nice to meet him. Nice to let him, uh, let me cut in line, actually. The line I was in probably would have been stagnant for about two hours, so thanks to you. I managed to get a move on a little bit faster than I normally would have. Meeting absolute slop. Just total slop. I made it to the bus. Time for the legendary uh, Canton Fair traffic on the way home. And hopefully I can make it back before my next client. Overall, this has been a bittersweet, horrible journey to see if I could stay in China. And it's going to take some negotiations my part to see if we can work this out. Wish me luck. I don't want to puke up and get home. I'm sitting right over the wheels. Epic traffic jam and this bus is literally weaseling by everything in the auxiliary lane. Like the breakdown lane. This is amazing. Let's see how far we can get. Hands down the worst bus I've ever been in. Even in China. This is a new love. Uh, the wheels of the bus are hitting the bottom of the frame of the bus and it's in the feet, like in the bottom of the feet. But then when it takes a corner as well, I don't know if it's on like leaf springs or like fix the spin, but I've already almost flown over to this poor girl next to me. It's pretty rough. Uh, fairly entertaining, but it's pretty rough. Ride. If you look carefully, you can see some people with tissues to their nose. And the reason for this actually is that in uh, China, a lot of the older generation slash middle, like middle age generation, they didn't grow up with cars or buses for that matter, right? We had horse-drawn carts, donkey-drawn carts, or bicycles to get around, maybe a really slow track. So long distance travel by car or bus will get anyone sick. And I've had relatives and even in Vivi's family um, that married into the family that grew up in the countryside. They, uh, they can't deal with riding in the car, they throw up every time. So oftentimes 
funny, when I first got here, I had no idea why. I was like, why is everyone in China puke? I'm home, oh my god. What an ordeal. I hope you never have to go through that. <laughs>